we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. I've watched so many of your projects and pictures. It's, it's always a pleasure to see you on screen. It's Thank even you. more of a pleasure to be sitting here across from you. Thank you. To talk about this great picture. Um, Lincoln, I mean, it's, it goes without saying, it's a great picture, great actor, it's a great story. I think a story that all Americans, you know, could kind of see because, I mean, he's on the he's on money for, for, I know. for God's sake. We, for, we, we, for no other reason. And, and nobody really <laughs> knows his story, it seems like, you know. Um, but. There's been a lot of debate over the Emancipation Proclamation and whether it really did free the slaves or whether it was Lincoln's intent to free the slaves. After being a part of this project, do you think that uh, Lincoln was doing it for the war effort or for the well, slaves or a First of all, there's two different things if you're going to talk about the history. There was the Emancipation Proclamation, which was done actually right in, it was sort of, it, 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 during the war, he was able to do that because of some statute within the war that allowed him to create the, the Emancipation Proclamation. But he knew that he, if he didn't change the Constitution, it was the flaw in the Constitution. And if he didn't get in and change it somehow and make the 13th Amendment, which would abolish slavery forever and for good, if he couldn't have done that, that eventually it would destroy this magnificent dream, this idea, this this hope that was democracy in the United States. His real effort was behind saving the United States, but he knew that slavery had was was the flaw, and if it wasn't rectified, and now was the time to do it, eventually it would destroy this dream. He never liked slavery; it was never something he was he took to. But he wasn't an, an, an abolitionist. He wasn't vehement behind it because. He thought there were issues bigger than that, uh, but he didn't like it. But he saw that it was the battle that to get in and win that battle would, and ultimately, it is what the obviously it is what the war was. You yeah, know, in, right. in in a lot of ways, people could argue and say, well, it was really on a on an economic level, but it was. It was, yes, an economic level because the South needed the slave labor right. to be able to produce what they did. And he believed that it was equality that needed to be part of the Constitution. It needed to be part of this noble experiment, which was democracy, and it meant all of the people, everyone. Unfortunately, at the time, they weren't talking about women, you notice, right, right, right. <laughs> which they're still not talking about women enough. But yeah. um, so I think you see in the film that he isn't a perfect person. He is a he is a complicated, flawed individual married to a very complicated and flawed woman who brings about a lot of solace in his life, who is his confidant, who is his advisor, but who is part of what he has to go through. And, and it is in this time of the country which we look at, um, which is very much similar to what we're going through right now, where these two parties, these two idealistic visions of what we should be as a country are so entrenched that they can't hear each other, that they can't compromise, that they can't see the big picture of saving this dream. That was that was such a great challenge and, and the process that he had to go through, you know, hook or crook to, to get it to go through. Yeah. But do you think that this America today could, could achieve those same challenges? I mean, you have hundreds of thousands of people dying during yes. the Civil War, yes. and they was able to get this legislation passed through, and it seems like today we can't get legislation for a, I know. Uh, to fix a parking meter. Yeah, I know. know, I know, I know. It is a very similar time in that. And also I believe that we are facing issues in the, on a world level um, that this country needs to address. We need to be able to move forward. We need to address so many issues. And when they when these two sides are so entrenched and so about this, the sides being right, more than they are about seeing the big picture of what it is we're all working for, all of us in this country. And I think the, the picture, besides being mesmerizing and you can't take your eyes off of it and it's funny and it's all of these things, I think ultimately even though there's a tremendous amount of tragedy in it and emotion and sadness, right. y you do come out of it feeling so kind of hopeful and proud that 
that we still are a part of this American experience, this dream of having democracy. The fight is still going on, and and if if you come out of it, it with anything you know worth having, it is it is to have the feeling that we all should be involved in this American experience. We should all be fighting for the resolution and moving forward with with what we can be, and we certainly should all of us find a way to vote. Right. Whatever it is you decide you're voting for, and I hope you're in informed, yeah. please be informed yeah. and make a decision, I hope it would be the same decision I would make, but if it isn't, nonetheless, to vote because you want to be a part of this amazing process, the one that he was fighting for. Well, thank you for helping illustrate this history lesson, and it was a pleasure <laughs> seeing you on screen and meeting thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't forget to click on one of the arrows to see our most commented videos. Now, there, there might be a lot of people in the African American community that don't like this character. But they better not act like that person doesn't exist. Because like you said, they right there in the house or they up the block or they Uncle Boo Boo 